Breaking news, teachers are in outrage as claims arise that students have been using ChatGPT to cheat on school assignments. Fears that this technology will rot the brains of our children have gripped the nation. The idea that each successive generation will be dumber than the generation before is not a new phenomenon. First it was radio, then it was TV, then it was video games, and now we are in the era of social media. But there is a new kid on the block that might kill more brain cells than your vape and TikTok feed can Combined. That's right everyone, it's artificial intelligence. So what's the go? Are we reverting back to cavemen or are we on the path to a society full of Einsteins? Let's check it out. Okay, so one argument that AI is going to make us stupid is that the automation of tasks will decrease the need for critical thinking and problem solving skills. We're starting to see this with concerns boiling up about students using ChatGPT to help them with their homework, which I may or may not have had a hand in. The counter to this is that instead of teachers being concerned about cheating, they should perhaps be reconsidering what a useful education looks like in the digital age. For example, there was a time where calculators were considered a form of cheating and teachers only wanted students to do math using their brains. We soon realized that this was a waste of time and that calculators could perform maths far quicker with more accuracy than any human ever could. And so we decided to actually incorporate calculators into the curriculum. The point is that doing maths without a calculator just didn't make sense in an increasingly technological world. Perhaps writing essays about books that kids don't like is an outdated way of teaching English. In the future, perhaps these AI will be incorporated into English classrooms. For the record, I actually did enjoy a lot of my English books. People are also worried that AI will make us dum-dums because as the technology becomes more integrated into our lives, we'll become more reliant on it and essentially forget how to think and how to do things for ourselves. If we use AI to write speeches, emails, texts, if we use it to make phone calls, might we just forget how to communicate ourselves? Those who would say no argue that those tasks have now become obsolete and that an AI is better off doing them so as to free us up to do more meaningful and creative tasks. With regard to thinking, they would say that AI will actually enhance our ability to make decisions because it will be able to make sense of the vast swaths of data that we now have access to. In this sense, they would argue that humans just simply don't have the capacity to make good decisions when we're bombarded with millions of different variables. AI, on the other hand, is perfect for this role and will be able to synthesize all of that data and provide us with some meaningful output. If this is the case, to what extent we rely on AI when making decisions is yet to be seen. Let's get back to the main question. Will AI make us dumb? With regards purely to this discussion, I believe that AI will ultimately be a force for good. I think a lot of the fear stems from the change that these technologies will bring, as opposed to the idea that they're actually gonna make us dumb. Technology is basically an extension of ourselves. You don't go anywhere without your phone. It's a symbiotic relationship. You're practically a cyborg. What I see isn't so much that AI will make us dumb, but it will make us appear dumb. Believe me, there's a subtle difference. If you were in a classroom a century ago, exactly as you are now with phone and all, not being able to do math with a pen and paper or parchment and quill, whatever you guys used back then. If you couldn't do that, it would make you appear dumb to everyone else in the room. But we know that with that little computer in your pocket, you're probably the smartest person in the whole town. Now, the reason that we know you aren't actually dumb in that hypothetical is because we know that you're being tested by a standard and method that are outdated. A smart person in the 21st century isn't someone who can do difficult times tables. And the method of using pen and paper is a little bit ridiculous. For most of us, knowing what 39 times six is, is unnecessary. The return on investment of knowing how to do that in just your head is practically worthless. The idea that AI will make us stupid is a defense mechanism to what I believe will be a necessary and inevitable change in education. Teachers who are worried about students using AI to complete essays need to come to the terms that essays are probably going to become obsolete. The same way using a pen and paper to do maths became obsolete. What educators need to consider is how do they take the 
crucial lessons from those essays, things like critical thinking and how to convey a message concisely, and restructure them into a way that one, students can learn it, and two, they can be tested on it. That appears to be the challenge that educators around the globe are facing. To take a step further, I believe that in the future, education will only become more independent. Classes of 30 kids all learning the same stuff at the same time, regardless of differing levels of understanding, is an ideal. The fact that a student doesn't understand fractions properly, but then will be moved on to geometry just because everyone else in the class is, isn't an ideal situation at all. It's setting the kid up to struggle in the future, and it will lead to them believing that they suck at maths when really all they probably need is a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time. In the future, AI will provide this one-on-one -on -one time when it's inconvenient for teachers or parents to do so. Individually tailored lessons that correlate with that student's current level of understanding, delivered in a way that is most suitable for that individual, is the future of education. No more Sally and Jonathan went to the store and bought 250 apples. Instead, examples, videos, content will be delivered to your child in a way that is most suitable for them. AI is the tool that will help make this possible. Eventually, a lot of the learning will be an individual pursuit, but that doesn't necessarily have to mean the end of traditional school. Eventually, I think school will become more of a social space, a place where kids come together to learn how to be respectful, creative, and collaborative members of society. Society. A lot of the time will be spent on teamwork and creative expression and essentially development as a human being. Classes on how to use up-to-date technologies in a meaningful and socially inclusive way will become essential. As for the actual AI learning that I mentioned before, the ABCs, geography, science, all that kind of stuff, I think a lot of that will be done in VR headsets or some equivalent. The ability to shrink down to the size of an atom to help understand chemistry, or to zoom up into space and to see the solar system with your own eyes, or to visually comprehend the mathematics that you're learning in three-dimensional space. These things are an astounding capability that VR headsets allow us to experience, and they'll completely revolutionize the way we learn. And I'm only saying that based off my experience experiences using my VR headset, which is the equivalent to the first iPhone. It already blows my mind, and I can't help imagine what it will look like in 30, 40, 50 years. As I mentioned earlier, with AI infused into the technology, it will understand what is best for each student, and therefore it will teach in that way, making education become a personal endeavor. No need to be moved along if you don't understand content properly. No more being stuck learning in a way that doesn't suit you. No more taking standardized tests that aren't a true representation of how smart you are. I think AI has the potential to enhance our intelligence not make us dumber. Now, I know this is a slippery topic and there are many obstacles that we'll have to overcome before this vision of education becomes a reality. I'm also aware that there's a lot of stuff that I didn't get to mention. So please feel free to fill in the gaps in the comments where we can discuss everything in more detail. For example, what are some of the obstacles that we're going to face on this road? Why am I right or why am I wrong? Is there something I'm completely missing or is there something that you just wanna add? Let's work together to get the answers. As always, thank you guys. I'll see you next time.